in all the rancor and all the debate about Obamacare and about the health care system in general, one of the claims that a lot of the people who are defending the status quo, one of the claims they make is that America has the best health care system in the world. So if you're one of those people, I, I'm making this video because I'd like to know what do you base that claim on? Because when I look at the bottom line, most important factors of the healthcare system, to be honest with you, it doesn't look very good. If we look at spending, and this is from a report from the Commonwealth Fund released uh, last spring, the United States spends more than any other industrialized nation, both in terms of uh, total spending or per capita spending and as a percentage of gross domestic product. In the 13 largest uh, industrialized nations that the Commonwealth Fund studied in this report, Japan has by far the lowest spending. They spend $2,878 per person, which represents 8.5% of the population. Germany pretty much represents the average. They spend $4,218 per person, or about 11.6% of their gross domestic product. The Netherlands comes closest to the United States, and they only spend $4,914 per capita, or 12% of their GDP. And the U.S. spends almost $8,000, and 17.4% of its GDP, which is more than twice what Japan spends. But if we look at the results that we're getting for all of that spending, relative to other developed nations, it's not very good. According to the Centers for Disease Control, in 2005, the United States ranked 30th among all developed nations in infant mortality rates, which is, re represents the number of deaths in the first year of life. And it's not even close. You know, it's not like we're third or fourth. We're a little bit behind the best country. Singapore had the best infant mortality rate, which was 2.1 infant deaths per 1,000 births. And the United States was more than triple that. So it's not just bad. The infant mortality rate is embarrassing. And then if we look at the lifespan overall, the United States actually performs worse. In terms of life expectancy, we're 50th at 78 and a half years for the average life expectancy at birth. So we're 30th in infant mortality, but then if we look at the entire lifespan of Americans, we're actually only 50th relative to other industrialized nations. Now, and again, we're spending way more than these other countries. In fact, according to the American Journal of Medicine in 2009, 62% of all bankruptcies filed in the United States in 2007 were due to illness. And the American Journal of Medicine says that the majority of those people own their own homes and were employed in middle-class jobs. And worst of all, of those people who filed bankruptcy due to illness, three out of four had private health insurance, which is the backbone or the defining feature of the American healthcare system. So three out of four people who go bankrupt due to health issues had health insurance. The insurance didn't insure them against bankruptcy. Now, I realize these are just a handful of facts. This is in no way a comprehensive overview of the uh, healthcare system in the United States. But I'm not trying to make any claims about our healthcare system. I simply just want to ask those of you who believe that America has the best healthcare system, what facts and statistics, what information are you basing that claim on? What are the strengths of the healthcare system that balance out these negative things that admittedly I cherry picked. There's only a few statistics there. I picked those because I feel like that's the bottom line. How much are we spending and what are we getting in terms of life and death? So anybody out there who does have the belief that we have the best healthcare system in the world, if you just make a comment below and tell me what it is that leads you to make that claim.